Yo, what's up guys, Erwin Tech here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Lunar Client on your Chromebook, but I'll never have to make an updated one again. It will work on all Chromebooks, because I've made Lunar Client videos in the past. I keep having to make updated ones, because Lunar Client keeps releasing new updates, but I made some new code that will work for every single update, so I don't have to make any more Lunar Client updates anymore, so this will work for all of you guys. I really hope you enjoy. But before we start today's tutorial make sure to go subscribe to my youtube channel so we can hit 40,000 subscribers also make sure to go check out my twitter linked in the description below i post youtube updates random stuff and if you're interested go check it out linked in the description below anyways guys i'm not gonna waste any more of your time let's just get straight into the video hey guys here are all the membership shout outs for today's video make sure to go subscribe to their channels and let's just get back to the video Alrighty, guys so before i start today's tutorial what i need you to do is go to this website and this Google Doc, which will be linked in the description below as always. Also, one more thing, you will need to have Linux mode enabled on your Chromebook. I will also have a video in the description below on how to enable Linux mode on your Chromebook. So once you have all of those complete, go to the Download Lunar Client website, and you want to go to Linux right here, and then hit the Download button. Then click Show in Folder. Then what you want to do is take your Lunar Client app image file, right click it, then click copy, select your Linux files here, then right click, then click paste. Now it's done copying into your Linux files, what you want to do after that, close out of your files app, go to the Google Doc, then what you want to do is hit the menu key, go to the search bar, type terminal, then hit enter. After that what you want to do is copy and paste the first command, highlight it, then right click, then do copy. Then go back to the terminal, then just do a right click, then hit enter. For me, it says zero upgraded, zero newly installed, since I already have it installed on my Chromebook. But for you guys, it will say, do you want to continue, Y or N? Then just type Y on your keyboard, then hit enter, and it'll just follow through the process of installing. Then here's the part where you guys do have to listen in a bit. So this says sudo chmod a plus x then file name. So what you want to do is just highlight the a plus x. Don't highlight file name. Then what you want to do is right click, copy this. Then right click again into the terminal. Then what you want to do is don't hit enter. You know how it says file name right here. What you need to do is do a capital L U N A R. Then hit the tab key on your keyboard and it'll finish the rest of the file name. Then just hit enter. After that, you just want to copy and paste this dot slash here. Don't do the file name. Copy that. And then what you want to do again is capital L U N A R. Then just hit the tab key. And hit enter. Now that Lunar Client works, we're not done yet. We need to make a desktop icon for this because this won't work. You'll have to do all the commands all over again for this to work every time you want to launch it. And that's pretty annoying. So just hit the X up here. Then what you want to do is do the number four command. Highlight it, right click, click copy, go back to the terminal, right click, then hit enter. For me, it says zero upgrade and zero newly installed, but for you, you will need to type Y on your keyboard, then hit enter to confirm the download. And then after that, you can just type in menu libre or just copy and paste the command. But since it's so simple, I'm just gonna type menu libre, then hit enter. This will launch the app so we can create our desktop shortcut. Once it's open, what you wanna do is select games here, Click the plus, click add launcher, select the launcher, then name it Lunar Client, the check here. Then what you want to do is go to where the command here, go over to the right and click the file logo, then click home, then select your Lunar Client app image right here. Make sure that's selected, then click OK. Then click the save launcher button right here. After that, close out of menu Libre, close out of the terminal, click leave. Now you can hit the menu key, go up and scroll down to your Linux apps here, and there will be a desktop shortcut right here for you to open Lunar Client. So Lunar Client's right here, I'm just gonna click on it. Now Lunar Client will successfully launch up on my Chromebook without doing all those commands over again. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed. This is how to install Lunar Client on all Chromebooks and it will forever work. I won't need to make any more videos on it. Enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Here are all the shout outs for today's video. And if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below. I subscribed after subscribing, of course, and you may get a chance of being featured in my next video. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.